All right, quick update on cake. So we recently just saved ourselves from a nasty drop. Uh, you can see in the past week, we flipped these EMA ribbons to the upside. We got a long signal and we came into, I believe the 200 EMA. Let me just check, yeah. So we came into the 200 EMA, had a little bit of resistance and we came down and it got a little bit sticky as we fell through these EMA ribbons. But you can see we quickly blasted back up to the top of these and uh, we are kind of hanging around at the top of the short-term moving average on the daily. So we're starting to look good. While we are on the short-term moving average of the daily, I would like to see continuation up past $8.40. That would give enough momentum uh, for the EMA ribbons, specifically the short-term moving average to quickly converge on the long-term moving average on the four hour, causing a bullish flip potentially in the next you know, couple of days or so, uh, depending on how high we go up. So. We keep pushing up if we're at 8 uh, 840 in the next day or so and uh, then i do imagine by the 16th in two days the four hourly emas will be flipped to the upside on the four hour the bulls have start, started to take back control and this is great because normally when the bulls take control of the four hourly emas you can see sometimes we have fake outs but a lot of the time we just build momentum 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 come back reset bullish momentum go on greater greater rallies reset reset keep on going and going and going and that's kind of what we did with this bearish momentum like uh so it is, it is really good that we are seeing a momentum shift to the four hourly on the upside if we come over to the hourly i don't want to put too much weight in a one hourly flip uh but it seems like the last time cake flipped on the one hour uh you know bar so it doesn't always work out, but sometimes it can signify the start of the uptrend. So I'm, I'm really looking for this to continue. So the last couple of times we did it, we had a huge uptrend, huge uptrend. Uh, sometimes it is a fake out, so which is why I'm saying I, I really don't want to put too much weight in a one hourly flip. Nonetheless, if we keep pushing up to 840, this is going to allow the four hour to flip, which I do put much, much more weight into. You can see when these do normally flip, uh, we do have big, big impulses when we are in an uptrend. We're in, when we're in a downtrend, sometimes on the four hour, we have these fake outs. But when we have these bottoming signals, uh, when we come back, retest support, keep on pushing up, you can see these four hourly flips carry a lot of momentum you kind of discount the four hour flips when you're in a macro downtrend i believe we've broken out of the downtrend if we come over to the daily you can see this huge 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 line that we got stuck underneath for a very very long time and you know coming over over to it now you can see we are pushing back above it so really just a quick update to let you know the bulls are taking control we're really looking good right now uh, but i do want to see continuation above eight dollars and forty cents now I am still in my trade for this. If you watch my video, I, I believe it was three weeks ago or a month ago. Like it's been a while. Um, I don't think it's been that long. No. Oh, this is a hundred. That's twenty-two days because we're on the four-hour. So yeah, it was it was approximately three weeks ago. Uh, we got into a trade on Pancake Swap down here at six dollars and fifty cent, and I was predicting a hundred and twenty-five percent move to the upside, up to you know fourteen dollars and fifty cent. Uh, we only came up, you know, 69% and, you know, only came up 69%. Obviously, that's pretty great. Uh, but yeah, just an update to let you know, I'm still in my trade. I'm not selling my pancake, uh, my pancake swap. Uh, I do think we are going to move up to $14.50. Uh, and yeah, lower time frames really keep your eyes on 840. Uh, I don't want to draw too many fibs on this because I think these EMA ribbons are really what we need to focus uh, our analysis on. So what else have we got here? We can remove this fib. Nonetheless, just eyeballing this, it looks like we've come back to our 618 Fibonacci. So from the close up here, uh, yeah, we perfectly came down to the 618 Fibonacci. So uh, we're looking really good in my opinion. Once again, I, I really want to see continuation for Pancake Swap. Once we get above 840, you know, then I can become a lot more bullish. But just to let you know, I am already very, very bullish on Pancake Swap. I think this daily EMA flip says it all, coming back down, back testing the ribbons and flipping to the upside. So the bulls are definitely in control of this one. I'm really liking this uptrend we're seeing on Pancake Swap. Uh, my next target, you know, like I said, I mean, I am expecting this move up to $14.50, uh, but you could potentially see the $12 being a strong area of support. I wouldn't put too much weight on the 200 EMA at $11. I'd really focus on uh, getting above 840. Once we're above 840, I think it's going to be a clear ride to 12. 
12. If we shatter through 12, then you know $14.50, which is my take profit target all the way up here is next in line. That's all I've got for you today for cake. Best of luck, not financial advice. Gawai out. Peace.